I'm Jared Lyd. I own and operate Triple L Quail Ranch. I was raised in Mahia, and we uh, moved here in 2011, and uh, we raised black Hereford cows and quail. So this year will be 150,000 150, quail is what we'll be raising. We start out, some of them are chicks, some of them are eggs, and uh, we, we get those from other places. And they, they ship them in here in the mail <coughs> or deliver the day-old chicks. And then we raise them to about 16 weeks old and then sell them for hunting purposes. If we start off with day-old chicks, it's a little bit easier because you know the, the chicks come in at one day old and we put them down and go from there. The eggs, we get shipped in. They go in the incubator for 20 days and then the hatcher for three days. And then uh, we, we put about 1,200 birds per room and it's called a brooder. They stay in there anywhere from four to six weeks, and then we turn them outside into the flat pens. And uh, 16 weeks is when most customers want to want the birds, a mature mature birds at 16 weeks old. They can fly multiple times. Wow, look at that one. I'm doing uh, a few different species this year for my hunts. Some of them, uh, I'm doing like 5,000 Tennessee Reds and then uh, some Gamble's quail. They, uh, I think they call them blue quail, the you know, scaled quail. And then the uh, California Valley quail. All that plastic is up, so you know the birds can't see out. We, we stay away from them as much as we can in the daytime. When we go in the rooms, we turn the, <clears throat> turn the lights off and go in with headlights and check the feed and for Unless there's an emergency, we really try to stay out of the pens, and it makes a big difference. The end of May is when we start putting birds down, so we'll have birds ready in September. And then uh, the busy, it's, it kind of starts ramping up then. You know, we start out with small amounts of birds, and then it starts growing. But uh, it'll be end of, first of the year usually when it really, really picks up kind of starts getting busy. When all, all the other hunting stops, the you know the duck hunting and deer hunting, then people start quail hunting. So that's when it gets kind of fast and furious. And some, some people do buy them to turn loose on their ranches to help repopulate, but mostly in Texas, but some out of Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana. You know, I think last year we sold, sold some to New Mexico. So it's, it's kind, of, kind of branched out. 